Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're opening and assembling the, the poly bag from Lego Explorer Magazine 25. Poly bag number is 11976, which is that one there, and it's a mini dragon, which does look quite cool. This is the magazine this month. Uh, basically, it's for the world of fantasy. So, the usual sort of things, usual sort of Lego comic scripts you put in it. Got cartoon strips. And instructions at the back, and see what ne and next month's one is a Halloween one, and it's a spider, which does look that does look really cool. I'm looking forward to getting that one. It does look a bit bigger there, but that still does look good. Strange and spooky next month, so what we'll do we'll carefully take the bag off the magazine here. So there we go, there's the poly bag. And we've got the building instructions here on the last on the on the last but one page. So open up the poly bag. Lots of green and yellow in this in this set, so. We start off with a yellow 3x2 base plate, like so. And we have two of the green 3x1 right angled base plates. Then you have a, a another two of the 3x1 three, three green right angled base plates. If I can see it, there we go. They go on like so and like so, as you can see. Next we put, um, the feet on, and the feet are four of these green two by one curved roofing pieces. And then we have a green two by one base plate with a male connector bar on the back. And that's the, um, that'll be the feet for the dragon. Then we have two of the yellow three by, three by two base plates. These go, let's put these two together like that. And they go on the back here, like so. Then you have, uh, then you have a yellow two by, yellow two by one brick with, um, with studs on the side, like so. That goes on there. A red two by one with two male connector bars on it. And a green two by two base plate goes on the top there like so. And that's our dragon so far. Next we make the um, chest plate for the dragon, which is a yellow 2x2 two two curved roofing piece and a yellow 2x1 base plate. These two go together like so. These go on the front. Like, just like that. Our oh, dragons, that's the dragon so far. Next we have a green 2x4 base plate, goes on top. Then a 
green two by two curved roofing piece, a green two by one flat, flat base plate, and then a black and gray turntable piece, which is this one here. It basically it's a two by two, but it's got like a, the bit moves in the middle. So I like about these models, you generally get some movement on them, which is good. So that's the, what we got so far. Next we put the wings on. The wings are two of these triangular pieces, like so. I'll say they are three by two triangular pieces. Because if you put them, uh, if you manage to put them so they made a rectangle, it should be the same as a, as a three by two. They have two of the red two by ones base plates with a female connector piece on. Attach that to the wings, like so. Do the same on the other side, so it's the same but, same but different. Like so. So it's opposites basically. They go on like that, and you've got some more, so you have some more moving parts in a minute. So there's our little mini dragon. Next we make the tail. Starts off life as a light green, two, light green two, two by one base plate with a female connector hook on it. And a, then you have the same part again, you put these two on together like so. Then you have a green green two by one curved roofing piece. Then you have a green one by one with a with a male connector bar on it and a red cheese piece goes on the back like so. There's the red cheese piece on the back, and that connects onto the male connector bar on the back there. So the dragon's got his wings and its tail now. Next, we make the dragon's head, we'll leave if its body there. So it starts off as a green, green two by two base plate, which is one of these, a green two by one base plate with a male connector bar on the on the long side, a green two by one base plate. They go on like that. Then you have a red axle type piece or front of car piece like that. Then we have a green four by two base plate, which goes on top. A green two by two right angle piece. It's one of these. Not sure the correct name for it, but that's that's going to be the nose. And next we have next we flip we flip it over. Then we have a green two by two with a female connect, connector bar on the long side. Didn't mean to drop that. One of these. That's going to be the mouth of the dragon. Then we flip it back over. Then we have two one by one with one by one square studs with a female connector piece on one on on our side then two of the green the green two two by two right angle pieces go on the top then two
Might be missing a piece. Let's have a look. No, it's just one. Oh, no, that's all right. I thought we were missing a piece there. So next we have a green six, six by two right angle piece, which goes on the back. And then we have a green two by one piece, which goes on the top, there like so. Then we have a red two by two flat with a stud in the middle. And another red cheese piece, which goes on the back. Like so. Next we have two, uh, two, gr two green, two by, um, it's, a, it's a two by two with a cheese on top, like that. Then we have two red cheese pieces which go on one each side. Then we have two, um, two eyes which go on it, two round one by one eyes. Try and make it so it's not lots, so the eyes go on equally. So the eyes are in the same place, otherwise you've got a cross-eyed dragon, which doesn't look good. So there we go, that's what we've got for the head so far. Next we put the two two by two curved roofing pieces on. I'll put these in the wrong place. These have got to go back. They go on like that, so that's the dragon's head. It does look quite good. Next we have the two uh, teeth or two really sharp teeth of the dragon. Two fire, some fire breathing out of its nose. Got two fire pieces, like so. There's our dragon's head. You attach the dragon's head on here. The dragon's head moves like that. That is really good. The wings can flap, and we can move the wings and move the tail as well. So we got our little dragon. It can like breathe fire any, uh, anyone who upsets it. It does look, it does look, it's quite a nice little build, it's, and, it is, and it is quite a good value for money. It's the magazine, check, just checking for us, quote, yeah, the magazine is now 4 99 so I would say it's still a good value for money. You get a really nice little build out of it. You could actually, um, you could actually incorporate that into, in, into your various Lego sets. It, 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 would work, 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 it would work very well with, with, the, with, the new, with the new castle set they brought out as well. You could have like a little baby dragon in the courtyard. That would be, be quite cool. I do quite like it. Um, tails just come off through. But like, like I say, it's a good build. It's got lots of movement and not much more I can say about it. Hope you, did, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'd like to thank my regular subscribers on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you very much for your continued support and I hope it continues. I'd like to thank Soundwave Man for all his comments on my videos in the last week. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Um, thank you. Um, also, thank... Thank you to all the people who actually put comments on who put comments on my videos on, on Instagram this week, and they are they are also appreciated. Um, so stay safe, keep building, and and hope to see you on one of my upcoming videos. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and even comment. You might even get a mention. Thank you for watching. Hope to see, hope to see you on my next video.